So I'm getting ready this morning. I got about an hour and a half um, that I got some free time to go do something. So I wanted to get some fish to eat. It's been a little while since I had any fish. So I figured I'll, uh, I'll run to the causeways and make a few laps around some different causeways and, and see if I can catch a trout or two to eat. But uh, what I did want to cook it with tonight is this stuff called stanky sauce. So I ran into this guy at a food fest and he, he offered me to try his sauce so I took a taste of the sauce and this is one of the only sauces that I've had that they concentrate on flavor and not heat like a lot of the hot sauces you get the Scoville units are super high it's hard to eat these guys here they concentrate on the flavor first before they add the heat and uh, it, it's phenomenal this one's a honey mango habanero. They have a few different kinds. This one is absolutely amazing. I mean, you can see between me and the wife, we already killed about half the bottle. That's just trying it on stuff before I even said I wanted to, uh, to put it on fish. My wife doesn't eat hot sauce. This hot sauce, she kills. This is them right here. You can find them on the internet, stanky sauce. You know, I'm not, I'm not, I didn't get this sauce for free. I paid for this sauce. Um, so it's not like I'm doing this for, for this guy giving me free sauce. This sauce is banging. I paid for it. I love it. I'm gonna order, I think he's got a, a four pack with all the different sauces in it. Um, I'm definitely gonna order it. But this is what we're going to uh, cook with tonight. But first, we gotta go get a fish. The um, longer I stay on here chit-chatting, the, the less time I have. But I think we got about an hour and a half or so to get out there. I don't know what we're gonna catch. We'll take a few lures. We got some black tide lures we'll take along. Um, some gulps. I wanted to take, um, I've been thinking about fishing with the Yozuri, the Pins Minnow, but I don't know. I think we're just going to keep the jig heads already tied on. We're not going to retie. We're going to keep the jig head on. We'll throw some black tides on there and we'll catch a fish to eat. So let's get heading out the door. I'll see you guys at the water. Got a stingray down there swimming around. Good shark bait. So we're looking for a trout between 15 and 19 inches. We just need one to keep. I'm not gonna eat more than one. That is a damn dolphin. See that right there is going to ruin everything. So what we're going to do, we have threw that like that. So what we're going to do now is get rid of the chartreuse tail. I got my little bag here. I just happened to have Some black tide, three and a half inch swim baits. These are like the, they have a little translucent color to them. They're kind of gray. They got the red eye, but a beautiful bait. And black tide baits are one of my favorite baits to throw. Get him rigged up like this, right in front of that fin, push the head on, bam. Now we got the double red eye. Let's see what we can make happen here. 
I bet something's gonna slam this guy. I think these these trout just get smarter and they see that chartreuse tail and they're like, yeah, we, we've never seen that in the wild. And they won't bite it. They're not dumb. So we'll switch up to more neutral color. Still got some shine on it with the finish. And these baits have an amazing kicker tail on them. They really give a lot of action. And them fish can feel that in the lateral lines. So we'll find out if the trick today is color. Neutral color. Water conditions are a little dirty from all the wind, which is why I was throwing the chartreuse tail. So we'll see here if switching up the color is gonna make a difference. I think it's gonna. There we go. Ooh, that's a good one. That might be a keeper. That's a good trout right there. Oop. So, FWC has the size limit set from 15 to 19 inches. So let me get my measure out here. And we'll see where we're at here. Get this fella unhooked. What a beautiful trout. Need to get my pliers. So that so that lower color change pretty much did it for us. Do it here in the grass. So he is a legal trout, he's 16 inches. And that's gonna be dinner for tonight, right there. So I bring this little cooler with the ice packs in it. a bag now I can put him right on ice in there and that's dinner Now we're fishing for fun. We secured dinner. Now it usually gets easier. Everything we catch goes back. So we'll move down here a little bit.
But before we do, you know I'm a big fan of the gold line. Love my gold line. Well, Black Tide has almost a gold colored lure paddle tail and we're going to give that a try I've never fished them this time of year this color the water's still cold That's another three and a half inch swim bait. So I want to see what this color does with the temperature of water we're in. And that's stuff I can mark down and notate and for years to come, I'll know, okay, we're, we're coming out of winter, the water's still cold, or colder water, water, they like this orange. Clarity of water. Look at this. our military out there hunting weather balloons we're on a weather balloon hunt now we'll give it this cast and then we're going to move on down through go we got him on oh that's another good one really good one and he's been hitting the side by something Look at this trout. Look at that trout. He is absolutely gorgeous. Got him on the black tide, orange paddle tail. Let's get him back in the water. That's a beautiful breeder fish right there. There he goes. Look at that. Both those trout are decent. That second one was over 16. Ooh, there we had a strike. There's a stingray down here swimming across. We used to snag them like this, wait till they swim across it, and then yank. See that? Now for the hard part, now you gotta take them off your line. But that's how we used to catch them when we would take them shark fishing. And we've eaten a few that way too. I'm not a huge fan of Stingray. I definitely don't like them because they killed Steve Irwin. 
we'll just step on his tail secure that that's the biggest part you want to have held down when you mess with these guys get the lure out let go of the tail And then I'll typically just grab a stick and if you flip him over, he'll sled right down there. Get him turned around. Well, didn't sled as much as I thought he would, but once we get him flipped over here and get him going in the right direction, there he goes. Come on, get going, bud. Sorry I snagged you like that. I know that's mean. Flip over. There you go. He's mad. He's going to come up here and try to get me. But that's the easiest way to catch stingrays. Oh, get out of my shadow here. There he goes. Just got to be careful with that tail if you are going to mess with them. They will get you. They will get you. Same with a catfish. Them spines on a catfish are nasty. And any of these fish with teeth, snapper, mangrove snappers, Barracudas, kingfish, Spanish mackerels. All these saltwater fish have teeth. If they don't have teeth, their gill plates will cut you. Got stingers on them. That's what makes it fun. But they got to protect themselves out here too. This is this is the wild ocean. You go anywhere around the world once you're in here. Which is why it's so appealing to me. Don't tell me he came off. Dang it. All right, so we're back to the house. We got the fish, grabbed a fillet knife. We're gonna head down here to the cleaning table and get her cleaned up. The dogs are a little wound up. You got a black hose laying out in the sun. It's almost uh, 87 degrees out probably. It's almost like pressure washing this table with a heat heat pressure washer, one of the heated pressure washers. All right, so we'll get our fish out of our little carry cooler. Got our ice packs in there so it stays nice and cool. like a dolphin grabbed him or something something grabbed him up while he was out there but uh that's our trout so we got him 16 inches
15 is the, the limit on it. And you see them teeth, them two fangs right there. Them two fangs are made for grabbing a hold of bait fish and shrimp. And when they lock down on that, that's it. They got it done. And you got all the little teeth down here on the bottom. So trout is a, a pretty good predator, you know. They're pretty well equipped for handling what they need to handle. So we'll do our standard cut around the back of the gill plate, down the back. Two really nice fillets. We'll get them spun off. Knife under the skin. The skin and the meat, push on the knife, pull away with the skin. See if I can trim a little piece of meat off here for you. Hound dog. Cut out this section here that was bit by something. Okay, you want this? Speak. 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 You're sitting down. Speak. Speak. Just say it loud. Say it loud. Speak. What about you, Meaner? You want some? Come here. Come here, honey. Up up. Good girl. Alright, we'll cut out the rib cage here. back cut that right out no bones follow this line back down across no bones now we're gonna get the uh, I don't know what we're going to do with them yet. We're going to get the uh, Denny's hot sauce on them. I do know that. But we'll figure out how we cook it up until that point. I'll see you guys in the kitchen. So one more thing you can do um, if you do live down here in Florida and you do have fruit trees and it seems like it's, it's the time of the year right now. Get a, get a big glare there time of the year right now when all the mango trees are going into bloom so I have a few different kinds of mangoes I got coconut creams juicy peaches cherries um, just a lot of different varieties of mangoes but as you can see my mango is starting to bud so I'm getting all the flowers coming out on it so what helps pollinate these flowers is flies flies, bees. So what you can do, and what I'm gonna do, is I took the skin 
off the fish after we, we took the skin off of it. I'm gonna hang it up in the tree and that's gonna attract flies. With those flies, in it, yeah, it'll stink, it's gonna rot. That's how you attract flies. But uh, the flies are gonna help pollinate all these buds and that's gonna help me get more mangoes this year. Um, some people use and some people use fish guts and whole fish and whatever, put them in a jar. This skin will be perfect for what I need. I'm just going to try to launch it up in there. Get out of here, Tiny. So now that's going to draw flies to the mango, which is going to pollinate all the flowers on the mango and really, really help out with me getting uh, a good quality fruit this year. Last year, it wasn't too good, but I wasn't around a lot last year. Last year, I had a lot going on, so I couldn't tend to the tree and water it and, and make sure that it was doing good. But this year, I got it this year. But... Now, we can get in the kitchen and cook. All right, so we're back in the kitchen. We got our trout fillets. We're gonna keep it super simple. I'm gonna cut up some onion, some peppers, some sweet banana peppers, and a jalapeno. And we're gonna put that in the cast iron with a little bit of butter and oil and cook them down, just soften them up. Then we're gonna take our stanky sauce. And there's not much more I need to add to these than just put this on both sides and put it in the pan. I mean, we have the honey, we have the mango, we have the habanero. I mean, all the flavors right here. So, Let's get this stuff cut up and get these in the cast iron. And all these vegetables came out of my garden. So uh, this is just a harvest day. So we got some nice cherry tomatoes in there as well. This we're gonna make BLTs out of. Nice jalapenos, beautiful jalapenos, bell peppers, sweet bananas. So everything's going to be super good and fresh. I know right where it came from. All right, we got everything diced up. Keeping all the uh, stuff we cut out of them, that's going to go right back in the garden. Um, the peppers might grow. Never know. If not, it's just going to be good fertilizer and compost to put right back into my vegetables and give me more. So now we'll get some butter and some oil in the cast iron and we'll get these vegetables in there and let them start to sweat and, uh, and break down a little bit. So we'll turn this on medium heat. We'll get some butter in there. And a little bit of oil. Now we'll get our vegetables in there. And now we'll get the fish ready. So we got our stanky sauce. We're gonna put some in this.
and we're just going to put our fillets in there. Get them nice and covered. I mean, it smells good. So we got these guys looking pretty good. The onions are getting translucent. Everything is getting soft. You don't want crunchy vegetables. So now what we're going to do is slide everything over to the side. It's going to continue to cook in there. We're going to add some more oil to this side. Now we're going to lay our fillets in. Probably do four to five minutes each side. It smells amazing. Go ahead and flip these. So we got that flip. I'm going to brush on. A little more of this sauce. Nothing super hard to make. Just wanted an easy dinner. Definitely wanted to use the sauce. We'll let that cool down for a minute and then we'll uh, we'll give it the test. All right, so we got it all cooked up. Now we're gonna give it a shot. Nice flaky, it's all flaky exactly what you want to see when you cook fish unless you want to eat it raw you can thank it it's really good mm -hmm. taste the sweetness from the honey and the mango and the habanero adds that little bit of zing but not too much it is good that's probably my favorite hot sauce that I found that's out right now. I'm gonna have to definitely order some more. And they have some other kinds too, the habanero or the uh, jalapeno one I wanna try. Mm -hmm. mm. Good, really good with fish. Dip the sauce.
That's it. Not a long video. I didn't have a lot of time. We caught the two fish. I just wanted to get some dinner, so I brought you along to get dinner. I wanted to use the sauce to cook it up. Did that. Outstanding. And everybody, thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Until next time, I'm out.